This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then cross out your eyes. And Flex and I are not giving up on each other. Or on our dream. You know what, Heather B? <laughs> Talk to me, homie. When, when, this, when this came across my plate, they said, <laughs> would you like to have Flex Alexander and Shanice Wilson on your show? And I said, oh, my gosh. I, I, used, I watched this movie called The Great Hope. Well, it's called The Great White Hope. But, and, and, you know, this has nothing to do with them. But <laughs> hope, hope is the key word. Okay, and, I got you. And the I one thing you. I always admired about this couple right here is that they're a couple that they seem like you don't hear a lot of controversy about right. them. You don't see a lot of their dirty laundry. Yep. Shanice hasn't ended up on some stripper pole somewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shake I it. Flex ain't in an alley <laughs> looking like Pookie <laughs> with a glass pipe in his hand. And then this show came about, and I start reading the description. First of all, welcome them to the show. Flex and Shanice are here. Yeah. Yeah. Flex and Shanice show. And, and so I was reading this description of your show. And it was like 90s pop sensation, Ch Chinese Wilson and her husband, one-on-one -on -one star Flex Alexander, which we all watched, were both first-generation millionaires who lived a good life with their two adorable children, um, Imani and Elijah. But suddenly, they're broke. Yeah. Y'all yeah, went from story. being like, how, yeah. when? I've always seen you on red carpets. <laughs> I've always seen you in nice suits. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> we, what, what year did y'all go broke? But we didn't, va we didn't valet, though. We took You're the right. bus. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. man. It was uh, 2008. Like, eight, eight. Eight through, yeah. like, the end of 2007 into 2000. To almost twelve, yeah, really, yeah. was like you know it just was it was it was bad, and it wasn't like we wasn't balling out, you know we was you know popping bottles uh -huh. and doing all that stuff. It just you know you you make more money, your expenses increase, and then when that money's gone, people don't understand mm -hmm. when you do have what you do have saved. Those expenses are still there. It, nothing's replenishing that uh -huh. coming in. It's just chipping away, chipping away, chipping away, chipping away, and it just was uh, you know as a man, it just felt, you know I felt like you know I had failed. You know what I'm saying? I, I was going to ask you that as a man, um, and you know, the man of the home. Yeah. How did that make you feel? Like, was it Shanice? You, you, mm. you a childhood star. Like, yeah. we thought you were rich when we first heard you. <laughs> you know, and how scared it. It's it must, it's scared. Like I'm talking like no, I was terrified. I mean, that's scary, yeah. right? No, yeah. we literally lost our house. We were homeless. Yeah, I was on my way to an audition. I was, I was scared. I was on I my cried. way to an audition, and she called me. Hey, the sheriff is here. And I <laughs> swung back around, went back, you know, and and he gave us five minutes to pretty much get our life in a bag and. She asked the dude, she was like, can I use your phone to call our account? And I was like, why? Ain't nothing in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, were, were you embarrassed? I was, in, yeah. I was embarrassed. Yeah. Um, I was afraid. Um, I cried a lot. I prayed a lot. Um, I, Flex always felt like, this is just for a moment. We're going to make it through. We're going to make it through. So mm -hmm. he helped me through that that time. But it was real. <laughs> it she, was really she's rough. good. She, she, I call her frugal friend. <clears throat> yeah. She don't I don't like no to money. spend money. I really don't. I'm really. I'm, he calls me cheap, but yeah, me, I, we we came in. Oh, you know, came in the money. I'm like, oh, my wife wants some Louis Vuitton luggage. Let me get that. You know, you want some Burberry. Let <laughs> me get front, that. Front, you was fronting. Right? It wasn't no front. But I was <laughs> sliding that black card. Like, yeah. oh, that black card gets that you black in card is the devil. <laughs> uh, do any like you have so many friends who are celebrities who are doing well. Mm -hmm. Who stepped up to say, look, man, hold this 2K. Who uh, stepped up to? You know who stepped up for us, Martin Lawrence. Yeah, Martin Lawrence. No, really, Martin Ooh. and Shamika. Ooh, <laughs> let me hold on. I'm about to. <laughs> Shamika Lawrence and Martin Lawrence. Um, yeah. When we moved into our home, we didn't have the, the the money to. After we lost our house, we needed the money to get our for our first and last month. Mm -hmm. And um, they gave us the money we needed to move into our home. Yep, just like boom, cash. Like yeah. you know, don't so worry about it. He you, stepped up. We <laughs> had we had other they, friends that are not known, yeah. but people that would come and say, "Yo, here's some groceries." We had a good friend, producer uh, Butter, who worked with Dr. Dre. Everybody yeah. and his yeah. wife Cassandra came, brought groceries. We, yeah. I mean, just just so many people. Just like, you, you know, us. you saw your true friend. Yeah. You saw you. So exactly. this show, Flex and Shanice, which mm -hmm. airs Saturdays at um, 10 p.m. on the OWN Network, mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's important that you guys watch it because you know they they're trying you know to escape destitute here. You yeah. know. They don't, <laughs> 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 
happens. Hey, man, if it happens again, no, uh, no, 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 no. Not okay. happening no. again. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, this is this, this will be the last time we'll tell this story. No, I'll, fly, I'll fly back here myself so you can punch me in the face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what we do? We'll record it and go viral. Yes. We'll get that money from that viral, you know. <laughs> I always keep a couple hundred in my pocket, man. That's right. You know, you guys can always eat. Oh, I'm, I'm good for a burger. No doubt. He is. Good for a Tell him. He, no, he really is good for a burger. The problem, though, is when you have a burger, he's going to remind you of the piece he gave you and take yeah, it back. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Rightfully so. Okay, so uh, we got Flex and Shanice are here. The new show, Flex and Shanice, um, is it airing this Saturday? Yeah, yeah. every Saturday. It's the second, and, season. Second, second season. Second season? Yeah. Okay, okay. So yeah. check it out on the OWN Network. I'm going to open up the phone lines to 888-742-3345. I, I got to take them back, man. This... This was such a beautiful song, Shanice. <laughs> I know you're you. probably tired of hearing it. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I appreciate this part, song. It's part of your childhood, okay? <laughs> yeah. All right. Sway the morning, Shade 4 5. <laughs> I love your smile. Oh, oh sing it. Sing it. Sing it. Yeah, yeah, Shanice. Come on, Shanice Wilson. This is a top 10 Billboard single. I know this for a fact. This. This came out in what, 90? It's like 92 92. or 91. And that's 91. when 91. And yeah. that's the first year I started working on radio. Number one in 23 wow. countries. It yeah. was number one in 23 countries. It was Grammy nominated. That's so. crazy. I, we used to play it on KML up in the Bay. Ah, I remember KML. KML. Yeah, I was there, girl. Yeah. I've been, yeah. been with you since you was a baby. Yeah, I was there. I love your smile. <laughs> do, do, do. Happy the funny, music. The funny thing is I didn't want it to be the first single. I said, people are going to think I'm corny. I thought it was, you know, just too happy and too corny. But and I co-wrote it with Nard and Michael Walden. Mm. But I was like, no. And I fought the record company, and they said, no, this is the first single. And I cried like a baby. Uh, but I'm so glad I I'm, that nah, I listened to man. them. Yeah, sometimes it yeah. was the number one song for yeah, me. You wouldn't have met Flex because he, you know, he 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 was kind of like a groupie when he first met you. <laughs> like, probably, huh? no. no, tell the story. Like <laughs> I didn't even I knew the song, but I didn't know. I, come on, back he didn't know my music. Head. Yeah. Oh, that's where you. Yeah. He didn't yeah. know too much about my music. I was man. shoot brand Nubians, you know, tribe. Like I, you know, I knew that song but i didn't know her music you, you know didn't know her I mean? music no. so this was just love at first what the love at first sight no we were friends we were friends first oh. we, were friends. we were just like I didn't but want... we only dated four months and yeah. then he asked me to marry him oh wow i say three months but she says four. it's four Damn, man. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. that. And you've been together how long? 15, 15 years. years through thick and thin yes. they've yes, been sir. broke heather yes, sir. <laughs> it, 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 carrying Sheets loaded with clothes. No, don't sway. <laughs> I told you that. They didn't have suitcases. They didn't have suitcases. <laughs> Flex was wearing the same vest like 20 uh, times. Right. Man. I've seen That's him in his right. vest a lot. That's right. <laughs> well, Shanice and I were talking while, the mu- while her song was playing, and she was telling me, you know, that they're celebrating 15 years mm-hmm. of marriage. And, and the one thing that always stood out to me about you guys was just that you openly always said about profess your love for God mm-hmm. yes. and being mm-hmm. Christians. Yes. And I always admire that about you, you both. Um, going through that period, um, was it just your faith? Was it family? Was it just, you know, leaning on the word? What what else helped you? It, it, was, it was faith. Everything. It was it, it was prayer. All, all all that, you know, mixed together. You we know. prayed a lot through prayed the, and, the hard and just, times. And just, you know, had to keep, a, like she said, I, you know, keep a positive attitude. I just, I was just telling Sway, you know, what you put out into the universe, that frequency, that's what the universe responds on. Mm-hmm. And, and if we put out fear, then we was going to attract that. We just kept having to say, it's going to get better. It's going to mm-hmm. get better. And we know, you know, that, that, that you know, God is just, uh, we just knew that we were going to get through. You know, yeah. it, it might have been rough, you know. Right. And when you have two little ones, you have, you have oh, no choice man. but to make it work. You can't, uh, you, you can't give up when you have See, kids. when I, I was single, I, I went through it before by myself, <laughs> you know, back in the day in New York, you know, I called myself a, you know, drug dealer at one point. But I was a scared drug dealer. What so. kind of drugs were you selling, bro? <laughs> oh, man, dude. <laughs> this is when I didn't know him. Oh, I didn't know him. I didn't know him. Shawty said with that. Like, no. Let me tell you something. I, I, I hustled in Bushwick. I lived in Bushwick, Cooper, and Evergreen. Who um, was you selling, man? Uh, Weed? Weed? That, no, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Coke? That lady. <laughs> really? Yes, sir. Were you was you rocking it up? Was it powder? rocking? Rocking. It didn't work. I mean, it didn't work out. I was you just, cooked it? Were you cooking I, no, it? No, no, no. I just took it. Oh, okay. you know, cooked it? Cooked it? 
I was, I was, I was. Oh, just, you, you ain't do nothing. You <laughs> wasn't cooking it. I didn't cook it. Out. I was a scared drug dealer though, because I had too, too much credit out there. You know, it was like I'm gonna yeah. pay you next week. I'm like, all right, cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no worries. <laughs> yeah, but scared drug dealer. But, but going through that, and then I li- lived in yeah. the shelter in uh, Brooklyn, other than Cumberland Hospital in Fort Greene, and that was, you know, in my teenage years. So. But by myself, I could handle that. But then when you got a family, so I already had that mechanism where I like, look, I know we're gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? But she was like, "Hey, I had never hey, homie, I ain't like never going through this." <laughs> so where like, did you uh, grow up in the suburbs or something? Um, I grew up in uh, South Pasadena, California. The suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> you know that area? No, but I, yeah. Yeah. No, but I six, lived two, in LA. Six. I lived in LA mm. off of uh, Adams and Western. So you okay. know, she I from, Pit- she from Pittsburgh. Though. But I'm yeah. originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. East Coast. East Coast. Yeah. Oh, that's meat and potatoes right there. Take that, yes. take that. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Flex and Shawnee, Saturdays on the OWN Network at 10 p.m. How are the babies? They're doing good, good man. Getting big, they, man. They're getting big. They uh, love the camera, so they're excited about the show. Oh, and, man. And um, uh, my daughter, daughter wants to be an actress. Yes. Uh-huh. And she sings. And our son wants to be a, a film director and a NBA basketball player. player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, this is what I want to do. I want to take a few phone calls. Paul in Milwaukee. Nobody believed you guys were broke and, and then Flex was selling crack. <laughs> um, so, uh, <laughs> Head no, on. Hey, wait a minute. Just be clear. That wasn't why we were broke. I wasn't selling crack while no, we were broke. No. This was before. This was back in the day. All right, hey, teenager. Pa- 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 Paul, you there? Yeah, yeah. What's going on, everybody? What's, What's up, man? Paul? What's up, Paul? What'd you like Hi, to say? Paul. Hey, I just want to say, man, I've been a fan flex since uh, Death Comedy Jam, man. I mean, I was only like 11, so I probably shouldn't have been watching it. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I remember, man, you had us laughing. Me and my dad used to watch it all the time. And Shanice, I love your music, and I'm just glad Thank that you. Uh, you guys are blessed. You know, to to make this comeback, man. I'm happy for y'all. Uh, thank, thank you so, you so much. much. Man. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Watch, watch the show. They they haven't come back yet, so yes, get away. <laughs> we tune ratings. in every Saturday. Still let me come back. <laughs> okay, all right. The, the trajectory has changed, though. So yes. It's going up, Mister uh, Mister Souls in Nebraska. Is it Souls? Mister Soze. 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 Uh, pardon. Yes, all right. Uh, what would yes, you like sir. to say, man? All right, my everybody up there. First of all, everybody up there is always positive. Uh, black people you can look up to, Flex and Shanice definitely. She never was the type to have her ass out. Flex Aww. was never the type to be a shim. You know what I mean? He was always a stand up guy, and, and you can see it. It comes through through your personalities and the way you carry yourself. And I really admire that. Thank number you. one and number two. Um, I went through the same thing as you guys went through probably ten years ago. You know, mm-hmm. who was a millionaire and then you know lost. Lost it, lost it all, mm-hmm. and people didn't stick with me, but I turned it around, and I'm back on, so you'll yes. be back on soon. I'm watching your show on OWN, wow, and thank get your you. money. For thank sure. you so much. Yes. I'm the campaign so you manager, can always man. get through it. Yep. Chinese got a new single. She's trying to make some more money. That's yes, right. Sir. It's called <laughs> Another Lonely Day. Yes, yes sir. And this is for an album as well? Yeah, I'm putting out a single, but I'm actually working on an album. I'm working with Neo. I'm working with the Justice League. Mm-hmm. Um, Balewa, who's written with everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, Steve Russell. Steve from Russell Troop. from Troop. Uh, I don't want to leave anyone yeah, out. Um, Molly Hunter is exec. Oh, yeah. She's going to help me executive produce the album. Didlo along Watson. with uh, uh, Groove Chambers. Groove Chambers. Oh, okay. Didlo and Watson. Who's yeah. paying for all this production though? Not Atlanta. We have we have a great situation with Molly. And Molly yeah, Hunter's yeah. been okay. helping. Great us, yeah. situation. She, she's been a, a, a blessing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know they open book now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like <laughs> damn. Sway, why are you asking me all that? Nah, but you, <laughs> see, I, you see, I handled that though. I was yeah. like, yeah. we got a great situation. No, we do. You know. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Uh, this is what I want to do, man. I just, you know. <laughs> no. I want to take them to lunch today, man. There you go, man. Yeah, yeah take us to lunch. Shani, yeah. right. Shani, do you <laughs> cook? Do you cook? On Shani camera. I'm yes. taking this right here. I'm, try- <laughs> take take this right I'm here. trying to tell Shanice now. <laughs> I'm warning you and Flex about Sway. Sway, I come with cook. a fork. He going to be knocking on your door. <laughs> no, hey, homie, you got something to eat? <laughs> yeah. Sway y'all, loves y'all to eat on. Yeah, we live he in In the valley? Yeah, we live way out there. I got a home in Tarzana. Okay. Okay, we have Look, look, look. Okay. We ain't far. All right. Okay. We like fish and okay. vegetables, Chinese. Okay. Fish and vegetables. Okay. okay. We, we, we can meet you at the Cheesecake Factory. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Like my cookies. Uh, 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 I didn't know that's 
what we was talking about. Yeah, we said do I could. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're going to play this new single, Another Lonely Day. People can get on iTunes? You get yes. on iTunes, Okay, yeah. okay, and then we're going to come back with some Celebrity Wire. I want you guys to join us. What's wrong with my mix? From, look, the shit is totally sloppy. Only a fool would open up the way you do. Nobody likes the records that you play, all right? It's just completely whack. But, Face it. Face it. Fuck you! Well, you might have a chance if that shit wasn't so small. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that, that was Flex's introduction to the world. <laughs> <laughs> sure Latifah had you don't understand how long me and Latifah talked about that. She's like, I know you're a comedian, man. Don't, you you can't be showing me out. I was like, All right, I'm, I'm gonna give you a line. You say this after me, and you be good. <laughs> <laughs> that was in juice, man. Yeah, what, man, what a an amazing experience. That in retrospect, looking back, having worked with all those people, man. like. I was up for the role of a uh, uh, Q that Omar got. We, it was down to myself and Omar. We had uh, Tupac, we had Khalil Kane, and a couple other cats. It was like six of us for two days. They mixed the matches going back and forth, got to hang with Pac. And, I mean, it was it was a great experience. And then when I didn't get the role, they were just like, hey, we like you so much. We just want you know you to be in there some way. Yeah. And it was just, I mean, I was doing stand-up, and they came to the club and saw me. I'm like, I would have never thought. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It, just, it, wow. was, it was crazy, man. My history and Showtime at the Apollo, Uptown Comedy Club, and just... You know everything. Everything that uh, I did, man. It just, it just, it was just so. It was just bubbling, man. I yeah. was like, "Yo, man, it, oh man, this is crazy, man. I'm having so much fun." <laughs> and I uh, danced for Salt and Pepper, man. They've been yep. those are my big <laughs> sisters, man. Yeah, I remember you were dancing for Salt and Pepper, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah. Yeah. Dream this way, right? Yo, he <laughs> said that a little up. slow. <laughs> yeah, you heard the right. You married like. now, and it's only we're going back. Chinese, right, so right, this right, is right. before you. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I'm not even sure if you were born yet. All right, now, um, no, actually, it was. It's uh, did you ever get to see them change in the dressing you know room? What? Wow, no, no flex. it literally, <laughs> it literally, everything was like we were literally like little brothers, and oh. you know, we we yeah. literally we was hustling, we was carrying their bags, That's getting extra dude. money. And they were so supportive, they used to come up to 125th Street to watch me at the comedy club. Then they said. Yo, while we on tour, why don't you just open up? Wow. So I started going out, open up, do 30 minutes, go back, change, and come out and dance. So, you know, I got Pac, you know, like that story really didn't go where I wanted it to, so I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> no All right, um, <laughs> Pac, you know, when he was in Oakland, I used to hang out with him a lot, so yeah. I got to know him, in a, and this was before Juice and everything right, else, right, so I right. got to know him in a whole totally different way. But when y'all had to hang out just to see if the chemistry is right for yeah. the role, what kind of things did y'all talk about? Let me tell you something, man. That dude was he was he was focused even back then. Yeah. Because I remember even in the audition, it was my first big audition. So, you know, I'm not really understanding what's going on. So we're doing a scene when he comes up to Q at the locker, when Q opens the locker and he scares him. And uh, so he walks up to me and pats me on the butt, like, What up, partner? <laughs> and I start laughing in the audition. Like I'm thinking, like, oh man, you bugging out, you know. Not understanding, he's focused <laughs> in he was doing the moment. Thing. He was doing his thing, yeah. man. And uh, after that, I talked to him, man. And I was like, yo, man, you know, I, I just thought you was playing. And he was like, yeah, I'm, you know, was, no, this ain't no joke. He said, this is what I do. And uh, his conversation was mostly about, even back then, <clears throat> talking about kids and uplifting our people. Mm. Yeah. Even back then. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about mm -hmm. chicks. It wasn't about weed. It wasn't about that. That was our conversation, man. But y'all never talked about chicks? We really didn't. We really didn't, man. It was like you know, when once they told me I didn't, you know, I didn't get the role. You know, I didn't see him after that until he had, you know, he had blown up. And yeah. uh, you know, when I saw him, it was just, it was all love. It was all love. Yeah. All right. Listen, uh, Heather, you want to say something? Real quick, because Sway had mentioned earlier too the Michael Jackson video, the Remember the Time. Yeah. It, um, I remember you became like. Boom! Especially mm -hmm. in the industry where mm -hmm. you were already hanging out, like you said, at SOBs, dancing, yeah, oh, brand man. Nubians, all the yeah. parties. You would be in there hanging out. Did that was that video the thing that opened the door for you with these with role, with movie roles? What? No. Well, the, remember the time I didn't. I didn't. I never. I wasn't actually in it. My my uh, the crew I was with, with my, right. Mop Tops, uh, Stretch, Stretch, and Khalif and all them choreographed it with Fatima. You know, I ended up going down on the set because at that time I was acting. I was doing one on one with Dougie Doug. And uh, right. and uh, got to hang with them and stuff. But the thing that really like opened it for me was um, where I live. You know, doing stand up, and then Dougie Doug had a show called Where I Live. Oh. Went to California to do that show in '92, and then after that, 
homeboys in outer space. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that, oh, man. that was it right there. That was the pinnacle. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. At that time in '97, it was like, hey, we gonna pay you thirty grand to mm. be on TV. I was like, I'll take it. Yeah, I ain't mad That's at that. Right. Wow. Take thirty grand right now. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Okay, you yes, got thirty sir. grand in their pocket. A, in this week? Room. a week, thirty grand a week, a week. A week. A week. Oh, a week. Yeah, I was just yeah, talking about thirty grand. No, it was a week. Episode. Oh, it's an episode for 22 episodes. And I remember I was on the plane with LL Cool J. He was doing the, uh, the show with In the, the house. In the house. Yeah. And we were flying to, to New York to the announcements. And I was telling him, he was like, oh, I so you know, then you 30 grand. That's doing it. That's this month. This, 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 this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty sexy. That's sexy right there. Thank you for answering that, Flex. Okay. I always oh, yeah. wondered how that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we got it. I need your help. You guys. What's up? Okay, because it's a dirty game in this industry uh, right now. Yeah. Rule number one. It's a dirty game, and we about to talk about it. Okay. All right, 39 minutes into the hour. Tracy G, we got special guest Shanice is here. Flex is here. They got their new show, Flex and Shanice, on OWN. Well, it's the second season. Yes. Saturday's 10 p.m. Yes. Make sure you watch it. They're broke. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, We're working sorry, our way on. Horrible. It's horrible. Okay. My bad, We're my bad. All right, <laughs> Tr- Tracy, what do you have? Guys. Wild, I want to say, cascade of drama came pouring on Twitter last night. And at the center of it all, the new Bonnie and Clyde, Meek Mill and Nicki Minaj. (laughs) Ladies first, let's start with Nicki. So MTV's Video Music Awards, that begins August 31st. That's when the showing is going to be happening. Quick FYI, Sway, you want to point it out? I'll be hosting the pre-show red carpet show. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Go Sway. Go, go Sway. Sway. Yeah. Go Sway. Uh-huh. Go Sway. Give me that $20. <laughs> <laughs> so Nicki Minaj, you know, she had a couple nominations. She got two. Best Female Video for Anaconda, Best Hip Hop Video for Anaconda. But another woman got nine. That's Taylor Swift, which included the coveted Video of the Year. That's what pissed off Nicki Minaj. She went on Twitter. She said, if I was a different, quote unquote, kind of artist, Anaconda would be nominated for Best Choreography and Video of the Year as well. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. When the quote-unquote other girls drop a video that breaks records and impacts culture, they get that nomination. Then she went into an innumerable amounts of smiley faces. She said, if your video celebrates women with very slim bodies, you will be nominated for video of the year. I'm not always confident, just tired. Black women influence pop culture so much but are rarely rewarded for it. Taylor Swift. She came into the fold. Taylor Swift. Not sure which tweet she saw, but I know she saw something, and she's always described herself as a feminist. She reaches out to Nicki Minaj directly. She says, I've done nothing but love and support you. It's unlike you to pit women against each other. Maybe one of the men took your slot. I just want to throw out there that Mm. 7-Eleven, Beyonce's video, is also up for video of the year. Nicki Minaj, she says, huh? You must not be reading my tweets. Didn't say a word about you. I love you just as much, but you should speak on this. And that's when Taylor Swift said, if I win, please come up with me. Exclamation point. You're invited to any stage I'm ever on. And Nicki Minaj, it looks like she might do that because she was saying, and I don't know if it was after uh, Taylor said that or before, but she said that. Um, if she wins, I mean, even if she does not win, she's going to go on stage and collect her award for video of the year and pull a Kanye. <laughs> wow. She said that? Like pull a Kanye? No, but the crazy oh, oh, part is... Oh, you said that. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she said she's going to collect her award on stage. And then just like coming out of left field, this Kim Kardashian who tweets Kanye oh West, you know. Gosh. His missus, wait, wait, I'm in Paris. It's the middle of the night and I'm posting my Vogue Spain pics, not having a clue what's going on in the music world. I'm not trying to shade anyone. That's not my style. My style, I just thought that caption was perfect for that pic. Changing the caption now, she put ironic because maybe a little while before, some hours on her Instagram, she put a photo and um, she put one of Kanye's infamous lines when he went and snubbed Taylor Swift on stage. Uh, What was the line? Wait a minute, I'm going to let you finish. Exactly. And then she didn't know what was going on after that. She had no idea. But it worked perfectly. So her name was also in that story. I think Nikki makes a valid point. What do you think, Shanice? 
Oh God! This is, this is, <laughs> I don't like to be in the middle of this. Uh, <laughs> She's gonna be. I love everybody. I do. <laughs> um, I think. I mean, for me, and this is just my personal opinion, just being acknowledged mm-hmm. is a blessing. I mean, I know we want to win all the awards, but no, for real. I know we want to win like five and six and seven and eight and nine, ten awards, but I feel like just still being in there and being a, being nominated is a blessing. Have so. It? I have a. I would be thankful just to you know. Be I have a, since I ain't nominated for nothing, so I can say what I want. <laughs> Listen, I don't understand why Taylor Swift didn't call Nikki and say, "Are you talking about me?" Why does she have to address her on social media? Like yeah. that's what I. Yeah, because really she didn't c- mention. She didn't mention. Nikki her, right? made a general statement, yeah. which she's entitled to do. And she's supposed to do that. People always That's feel the way when these award nominations come out. Mm-hmm. I'm confused about why Taylor Swift hit Nikki directly and was like, blah, 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 blah. That's where I think the confusion Seemed is. Seemed like it me. hit a chord or something. Right. That's what makes no sense to me. Taylor Swift, damn, you can't just call Nicki Minaj and be like, hey, bitch, we good? You know, <laughs> <laughs> why are you coming at me? You know, like, that. that's my question. And I got to say this on the record. You know, I love Kanye and everything, but... They're not pulling a Kanye. The original, you're pulling an ODB. ODB did it oh, first. <laughs> I was ODB. at the Grammys when he did that. <laughs> yeah. I was there with Babyface. Because Wu Tang loved the children. Wu Tang loved the children. I remember that. <laughs> All right. You're right. Now you said <laughs> Nikki and Meek. Oh, yeah. They come mm. as a tandem. Meek Mill. I don't know what happened yesterday, but he got all up in his feelings and he wanted to share those feelings with the world. He went on a ramp. Twitter, again, stop comparing Drake to me, too. He did not write his own raps. That's why he ain't tweet my album, because we found out. Oh. And he threw in a little smiley face. He said, I only know how to tell the truth. If Hove gave me a verse somebody wrote, I would do the same thing. No shade to Hove. He ain't even write that verse on my album. He's referencing Drake again for Rico. And if I wouldn't, if I wouldn't knew, I would have took it off my album. I don't trick my fans, LOL. I'm dropping soon again. Kendrick and J. Cole really know how to rap, even though they in different lanes. Dude is all the way out of it. Don't compare me, compare me to none of the cast that don't write their own raps either. Ooh. So Flex, you being a hip hop, you know, enthusiast junkie from the 90s era from the yes, golden sir. era. No yes, doubt. Sir. Okay, that now. That was real rap to me. Okay, real rap, and you have basic fundamentals, too. Mm-hmm. You know that you couldn't you couldn't become the top dog if you didn't write your own raps. Yeah. How do you feel about what Meek is saying, professing about Drake? Does that change your the way you feel about his music, his mm-hmm. positioning in the game? Drake. <laughs> no, it, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't change change my feelings about it because you know I, I don't know know exactly. I mean, he's speaking on something that you know either he knows or he's I don't know. He got feelings about. He said it. it's the truth. He said it's the truth, but I mean, <laughs> hey, don't mean it is the truth. You know what I mean? Okay. I, I I don't know. He could be saying it to spark controversy for that new album. I don't know, but. I like Drake. I like Meek Mill. Monster. Love that song. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, so I, I just feel like overall, man, you know, we got to go back to, to the essence. We got to go back to, to the night. We got to go back to X-Clan. We got to go back to to uh, uh, a He's large so professor. We got to go. Yeah, He's so, an X-Clan. We got to go back to, you know, we, <laughs> because at, at that time, we, you know, we were in a place of consciousness, man. We were rapping and, okay. you well, know. Let, just, let me rephrase the question then. Uh, <laughs> You ain't if him you the found out your favorite rapper didn't write his rhymes, what do you still be your favorite rapper? See, that's hard because I know be I, I, I know because I, I know Rakim wrote his rhymes, <laughs> so I know I know that. So he's he's always gonna Boy, be number one for me. We said the same thing. Oh, Listen, I, I, look, I love Drake first of all, and if it is true, Kanye got writers. Every a lot of folks got writers. Everybody, got writers. you know, and it's just if you tell the truth about it, so be it. But I think that man puts out so much music yeah. that it's impossible. It's impossible. Like, you know, and so... But, I mean, comedians have writers. But my yeah. thing is, yeah, you know. singers, you know, we have several writers and different people. So how come a, a, a rapper can't collaborate with someone else and, and, and yeah. write with someone else? Yeah, rap is based I, on truth, the though. You know, the different. culture is different. Than, but it's you know. still true that you yeah. collaborate with somebody. I, yeah. I never understood I'm, that part. But. I get what you're saying, Shanice, because we just love you. You wrote <laughs> <I love laughs> your smile. <laughs> See, but you can't see Shanice about that, that, that publishing life. She, she wrote her song. about that publishing <laughs> life. But, but, but like you said, but like you said, Sway, right. so much. I mean, Drake puts out so much music. It's like it's some, you know, 
some point you got to say, how can you really, you know, do all that? If somebody says, hey, I got this verse, whatever, it's like, you know, I have, you know, comedy writers, I have friends that help me. If they have a subject or I have a subject and I can't finish it, they come in and say, well, what about this? Mm. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I don't yeah. think it's yeah. anything wrong. You know, yeah. I mean? you know, it's a different time too, 2015. Yeah. And Lord knows that man could spit and you know, mm-hmm. he's an awesome yes. writer. Uh, and I don't think nobody could take that away from him. No, nope. mm-hmm. nah. you no. Know, uh, but it's interesting. Meek Mill is trying to snatch that number one spot. Meek, uh, Meek. Okay, Shanice, thank you for coming by. Thank you. I had so much fun. Quick thank flex, you. come on, man. This my is my man, brother, man. You, man. He sends me information. You, you know yes, things sir, to yes, read. Yes, you know yes, they don't yes, know yes, about sir. us, my man. man. Yes, come yes, on, they don't know about us, flex. <laughs> um, and listen, man, if you guys are ever hungry. <laughs> that's never happened yeah. we got a vending need machine that right here yeah, yeah, I, got that you. I got you all right thank you sway <laughs> absolutely absolutely it's sway in the morning only on shade 45